You are looking live right now at Mar-a-Lago, where President-elect Donald Trump is doubling down on his pledge to create jobs in America, announcing Sprint will be bringing back 5,000 jobs from overseas, and another 3,000 will be coming from satellite maker OneWeb. One of those companies' founders is here with me right now. Welcome, everyone. I am Trish Regan. I'm in for Neil Cavuto, and this is your world. The president-elect is crediting his election win for getting the job done. Let's go right now to one of the guys behind that announcement, OneWeb's founder, Greg Weiler. Greg, good to have you here. How much does it matter to you and your business that Donald Trump is promising less regulation and fewer taxes? I think it's, it's important as we think about where we bring our, or deploy our global assets. So as a company which is building one of the largest or the largest satellite constellation where we'll be bringing Internet access globally, we have, uh, we have really the whole world to think about into, as to where we deploy our assets and where we will build um, uh, components for our systems. So you want a competitive so environment, is, you want an attractive environment, and the U.S. is looking like that. Um, Donald Trump is saying, look, he was the one who was able to recruit these companies back to the United States and help bring these jobs. Do you credit him with that? I think what he's doing, which is, is fantastic, is his ability to uh, mobilize and excite companies. And I hear this from, from people in business all over, that they're excited about the new environment and the prospects, I should say, for the new environment, for a more fair uh, corporate tax environment and, and, and the like. And so that's been uh, exciting for many people. Uh, including, uh, I guess, yourself. Let me ask you about one of your uh, investors. Richard Branson is on your board of directors. Uh, and he is someone who has been incredibly critical Sir Richard Branson of Donald Trump saying that he was, quote, unfit for office. So uh, with all that in mind and considering that some of your investors do not like the president-elect, um, you still say he's one of the reasons why you're coming back into this country, why you're going to bring jobs. Well, remember, our mission is to, well, we didn't talk about it earlier, but our mission is to bridge the digital divide. We're building a global constellation of satellites to bring Internet everywhere, to make sure every home and every, in emerging markets where they don't even have homes, but they'll still have access to the world's information. It's not, what we're doing is not a political issue. It's not even about creating jobs. It just so happens that we have to create, we will and want to create excellent paying, highly uh, skilled jobs for people to accomplish this greater good. Mm -hmm. So it's it's, uh, I don't think our board is really thinking so much about the president-elect as we are thinking about what's best for what's the best way that we can accomplish this mission. Yeah, but you did say that you're thinking about the environment, right? And that you feel that less regulation, lower taxes is all going to contribute to a better economic environment. Therefore, you know, it, the two kind of go hand in hand, right? You need to have the appropriate political climate in order to have the right economic climate. Yes, you do need a, a good political climate, and co countries around the world are, are fighting to have better regulatory environments that are more inviting for companies, and also to have lower taxes that are more inviting for companies, mm -hmm. as well as better for the, for the people. So, you know, from our perspective, where we're looking around the world, uh, the U.S. is, what we're hearing, at least, is, uh, is positive. Good. We like that. Let's keep it positive. Greg, good to see you. Thank you for joining me today.